In this lesson, I will illustrate the skull without the brain and uh, with Dora Mater still intact. To check out more lessons, please check out my website, flashbrainanatomy.com. Now, first I have drawn the human head. Then we made a cut and we took out the bone. We were able to see the most outer membrane, the dura mater. Then we cut the dura mater, wrap it, and we were able to see the arachnoid mater. Then after we take out the arachnoid mater, we can see the pure mater. So this is still not the bare brain. There is a small thin layer over the brain. And after we remove that, we can see the bare brain with no meninges around. Then I illustrated the skull without a brain. This is how it looks like, something like this. Make no mistake, this is what you see here, here, and the layer over the skull is still the dura mater. We have made a cut like this and wrapped it around. Now remember, the dura mater consists of two layers, the meningeal layer and the periosteal layer. This over here is the meningeal layer, and this over here are both layers, the meningeal and periosteal. You probably wonder how is this possible, and how does it look like? Well, let me illustrate it like this. We had a skin, then we had a periosteum, then comes the bone, and then comes first layer of dermon. This is the periosteal layer of dermon over here. Then I illustrated a cortex of the brain. And on the cortex, there is a small thin layer called the pia mater. After pia mater, there is arachnoid mater. And finally, the meningeal layer of dura mater. Now, look at this. You had both layers here, intact, attached to each other. But here, they separated. The meningeal layer goes down and the periosteal layer stays with the bone. And the meningeal layer goes down. So does the meningeal layer from the other side. And here they create the cerebral fox. And this space over here, this empty space, is the sinus. It takes away the blood from the brain. It is filled with the blood and the cerebrospinal fluid. Now if we go back to the previous illustration, here it is. Over here, both layers are attached to each other. And over here is the fox. So you can see that this was created by the meningeal layer of dura mater. And the sinus that I mentioned, you can find it here. It goes all the way like this. You can also find it here. You can find it here. So for example, the blood comes from the brain through the superior cerebral veins and it goes through the sinus and through the system of sinuses it goes back to other veins bigger veins and then it goes back to heart and this is a place where the infundibulum is we will learn about these parts of the brain later there is also an optic nerve entering the skull over here and there is also internal carotid artery entering the skull over here. Now don't worry about these. I created a video lesson on sinuses and also on all these other parts. You can check out my website flashbrainanatomy.com. And let's write this all down. This over here was the dura mater. Then we had this structure over here was the cerebral fox. Uh, the structure created the same way over here is called the tentorium. Then we had the optic nerve. Then here with red illustrated was the internal carotid artery. This over here was the infundibulum. I also said that inside of Falx and tentorium there are systems of sinuses which we cannot see we would have to make a cut to see it uh, i illustrated that in other images